It, I want the young people to understand how to manage the failure. If you want to be innovators, I am going to give you what type of what type of characteristic you must have. See, I have a feeling whenever I do something, I feel happy. You, you want to be you, yes. not everybody else. By breaking their limits of their imagination, they change. They change the world. Creativity. leads to thinking when he enters the classroom my teacher i see radish of purity of life a leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity sir how did you become so great <laughs> how did i become so great that's a question when there is order in the nation there is peace in the world how to handle the not only how to handle success how to handle the failures particularly you are in the management environment warten it i want the young people to understand how to manage the failure because any task you do you have to come across problem problem should not become the captain of the individual or the project chief and uh, the project chief should become the captain of the problems and defeat the problem and succeed if you want to be discoverers If you want to be innovators, I am going to give you what type of what type of characteristic you must have. Invention and discoveries have emanated from creative minds that have been constantly working and imagining the outcome. The telephone, he was imagining the outcome, imagining the outcome in the mind. With the imagining and constant effort. all the forces of the universe work for that inspired mind thereby leading to invention discoveries see i have a feeling whenever i do something i feel happy you see this is you try that uh, whatever you may have knowledge you have sometime better economy you may have better better because sometime you can have a kind words you can have so if we use and make somebody's life happy that is you are giving and his or her life is a happy that's a better the best thing a human being can think of that then you will get a conflict free world i learned what did i learn from the youth of 11 million people i learned every youth wants to be unique every youth wants to be unique that is you every youth wants to be unique that is you but the world around uh, around you is doing its best day and night to make you just everybody else now now the question is whether you want to be you or everybody else you you want to be you not everybody else now if the question be like everybody else is convenient at the first glance but not satisfying in the long vision the challenge therefore my young friends is that you have to fight the hardest battle you have to fight the hardest battle which any human being can ever imagine to fight and never stop fighting until you arrive at your destined place that is the unique you history has proven history has proven that those who dare to imagine the impossible are the ones who break all the human limitations in every field of human endeavor whether science medicine sports arts and technology the names of the people just now i listed some of the names the names of the people who imagined the impossible are engraved in our history by breaking the limits of their imagination by breaking their limits of their imagination they change they change the world you take cv raman you take uh, newton you take einstein you take chandrashekar they by breaking the limits of their imag- imagination they change the world uh, learning learning use creativity creativity leads to thinking thinking provides knowledge knowledge makes you great you have many accomplishments you've written books you've served as president 
you're an aerospace engineer, you've been a professor, but you say the title you like best is the title of teacher. Why is that? You know, I had, I had a teacher when I was a young boy, 10 years boy, wartime, the Second World War going on. At that time, I used to see in my class, fifth class teacher, in science teacher, his name is Sivar Subramanya here. He entered the classroom and we used to see the radiation of knowledge from him, radiation of knowledge from him. When he enters the classroom, my teacher, I see radiation of purity of life. And his, the way he taught, I, my dream got shaped, what should be my way of life. He is the person, the teacher gave me the vision of my life when I was a young fellow. Now a teacher has got a fantastic opportunity to grow minds, to enrich the minds and give the dreams to the young people and nurture the dreams with them and they will become a great human being. Sometime they will become better than you, but better than the teacher. So that opportunity to have. And also the teacher, like what I am doing, I am a professor, I can also do the research, young researchers will be work with me. That's a great pleasure when they get the PhD. Every action of the leader should be transparent. You know what I mean? It's a, every, that is, a leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity. Leader should work with integrity and succeed with integrity. And uh, I, I believe President since you asked the question, has to be continuously in touch with the people. Rashtrapati Bhavan, where uh, I, I was uh, there, became a people's Bhavan. Instead of Rashtrapati Bhavan, it becomes people's Bhavan. And also I travel into the whole state, cutting across hill, deserts and sea. I was in touch with uh, millions and millions of people. Sir, how did you become so great? <laughs> How did I become so great? That's a question. Well, which class you are studying? Fourth. What's your dream in life? I want to become a singer. Singer? <laughs> Is this Tani or Carnatic? Is this Tani or Carnatic music? Any music? Yeah, any music. Any music you become. Well, I don't know how because <laughs> I don't know. A, you know, it's the relative terms. So I personally believe you must have a dream. Say, you must. Say, I must have a dream. I must have a dream. I must continuously acquire knowledge. Continuously acquire knowledge. I must continuously acquire knowledge. Hard work. Hard work. Hard work. And perseverance. And perseverance. One should not be af one not afraid of problems. Not afraid of problems. Then you will be successful. Okay. <laughs> As you say in India, where there is righteousness in the heart, where there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony in the home. When there is harmony in the home, there is harmony, there is an order in the nation. When there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. Mr. President Abdul Kalam, in the name of the European Parliament, I want to thank you for this important and inspiring speech. This was one of the most extraordinary speeches we have ever heard. From a statesman, scientist and poet. This is unique. All the best to this great nation, India. All the best to our cooperation between the great nation, India, and the European Union. All the best, Mr. President.